Hey guys, I am going to make a video comparing the 12S Pro, which I'm recording with now, 6S Plus, and iPad 5th Gen's audio and video qualities to make a comparison. Hope you enjoy the video. All right, guys, so for today's video, I'm actually making a video to compare the camera quality between my iPhone 6S Plus, my iPhone 12 Pro, and my iPad 5th generation. So on all of these, I set the um, video settings to 1080 with 30 frames per second. And this first shot is for the two iPhones. It's the back, it's the rear cameras, supposedly the better cameras. And we'll see how that looks and sounds in comparison. So I'm going to start to my left. So for the iPhone 6, this is the rear facing camera, the best one. And I have a directional mic, a small cheap mic that's plugged into the thing as well. And um, I use that for audio capture because if I don't, that iPhone 6 tended to have capture weird audio that would get loud, get quiet. You've heard this in all of my past videos. Hopefully going forward it won't sound that bad because I'm using the new iPhone 12 Pro for my future videos. Now the iPhone 12 Pro is using the rear cameras, which are the three cameras. I don't know if that has anything to do with recording video. If you do know, comment below. I'm not a techie when it comes to stuff like this. I'm pretty simple. I use the iPhone to record my videos and I use, uh, what's that program? It's Shotcut to cut them and it's free and it's simple to use. It's not super good. It crashes sometimes, but it gets the job done. And over here on my iPad, I'm also using no mic, just as the iPhone 12 Pro. But I have, uh, it's the front facing camera, so I can see a feedback of what it looks like on film, but their cameras are identical. The front camera and the rear camera, they're the same exact camera. So I'm not too worried about not having a front rear comparison for this. So for the next half of the video, I'll probably, uh, not even do an iPad one. But I am going to for the stereo for audio quality, I'm going to play my acoustic and sing a little bit. So that, it, that's an audio recording and video recording of the rear face cameras on the two iPhones, 6, 12 Pro, and front facing camera on the iPad 5, 5th gen. So I'll flip now the cameras around and use the face camera on the 12 Pro and 6S Plus. All right, so now I'm running the video from the front face camera on the 6S Plus and the 12 Pro. And I will get a little bit of audio and sing a bar of one of my songs. Or not my song, but one of the songs we cover in my band. The end of a Sunday afternoon. Now, based on the feedback of the screen alone, the 6S Plus shows a lot of light. It's almost like there's a ton of bright white light that's in my screen. I don't know if that translates to video. It's a lot more subtle and soft on the S Pro, but I've noticed that in the footage, whenever I'm looking through the S Pro, everything's kind of dimmed out. And I want to say that has something to do with a white balance filter that was kicked in on this one. And maybe that's why the battery stays up so long on these 12S Pro. But mainly wanted to shoot the video to uh, illustrate 
the audio and video comparison between the two. And again, I could have changed the um, values of them. Maybe I'll do a, a future video of this at, at a higher frame rate. But it, I think that uh, 1080p at 30 frames per second seems to be the industry standard for recording iPhone video footage on YouTube at this point, at least up till now. Let me know otherwise and comment below. Um, like, share, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.